All right, guys, this is a Teleview telescope. It is their 60 millimeter or 2.4 inch diameter F6, which is a 360 millimeter focal length or 14.2 inches. It's their Apple doublet refractor. Now, I bought mine in 2005 in anticipation of taking this to Egypt for the total solar eclipse, which was to be on March 29th, 2006. Now, there was a specific reason why I chose something this small and compact. Because as you can see, this is very, very compact. And, there, and hence the reason when I was traveling that I wanted something that took up very, very small footprint. And this is quite unique in that it doesn't have a rack and pinion or Crawford type focuser. It uses a helical and a uh, like a push pull type two stage focuser. And it was this feature that led me to look into and purchase this Teleview 60 because uh, my goal was to have everything go into my camera bag. I had I at that time bought a camera bag that was the biggest you, that you could take for carry-on. I modified my tripod uh, to, to fit in there. The geared head that I use I also modified so I took it apart and to put it back together I made my own little uh, uh, attachment so I wouldn't have to have any tools with me. It would go back together, and by, and by having that uh, geared head in two pieces, I could now move things around and took up less space and just use like a, a camera wrap around it to keep things from getting damaged. And then the last thing would be the telescope. And as you can see, without, a, uh, without your rack and pinion or Crawford-type focuser, look how slim this is. You have nothing to get in the way. It just, it's, it's the beauty of this telescope. So as you see it here from end to end with the dew shield retracted from here to here we're talking ten and a half inches and the specs say that this weighs approximately three pounds per the website and I've got the small bar on here so give or take or right around the three pound uh, weight range and that was another thing everything that I had and I forget at that time in 2006 what the weight requirement was, but I had to make sure because I also included two radiant eyepieces. Uh, I forget even the focal length. I think one might have been an 18 millimeter and then something a little bit, you know, and, and what I was able to do is switch out, oh, and then the diagonal, but I was able to switch out the two eyepieces to do visual. I didn't take any pictures. And I much more enjoyed the Eclipse because I wasn't screwing around with pictures. I visually looked through this telescope and it was spectacular so again uh, the diminutive size of this scope is excellent for travel I don't backpack but if you backpack uh, hiking um, this will easily fit into a tour pack of a motorcycle or a, a, a saddle bag uh, put something around it uh, a small tripod this thing is good to go now this scope is prior to uh, now they have uh, tapped here on the dew shield they actually are tapped to accept the quick point finder that Teleview has and this does not have that the dew shield is not tapped anywhere along there so the business end of any telescope is its lens and again this is a doublet And since we're at the lens end, of course, it, as stated, it has the dew shield. Comes out. So let's take a look at that uh, focusing arrangement that they have here. Again, it's a two-stage. So let's look at the uh, sliding, like a push-pull type. So you'd loosen this up. 
and then you have it to where it pulls out just like that and I consider this my course focus and you could stop it anywhere and lock it down next is the helical focusing and so if we take a look at this now watch the uh, the, the, the cover here for, for the end you'll notice it doesn't rotate so if you've got a diagonal or anything in here as you turn this it doesn't rotate it stays but this is your helical focusing and I call this my uh, fine focus so what I would always do is get this somewhere in the middle of the range by piece whatever one I'm using and um, then get the focus in here pretty good tighten it down and now I can tweak it here and I've got the range to tweak it very smooth very nice excellent system now it does have this adjustable balance bar that you see here and it had a I think it had something similar to these uh, nylon type things to lock it down and what I ended up doing was just taking a stainless steel set screw and getting it where I wanted it tightening and then tightening it down because I never change it and then I've got the Vixen style I ch I've changed the bar here recently to, uh, to this one here but then I use the Vixen dovetail as the attachment to my accessories that, uh, that it would mount to and it does have tapped holes down here in the bottom uh, I don't know four or five different tapped holes I think four or so I, uh, some of them are covered up here so I, I forget exactly how many but it does have tapped holes in this unit here in this base part that comes with the uh, 60 millimeter so that if you're gonna put it on a tripod that way and this facilitated me to easily put on the um, Vixen dovetail bar Now I keep this and a small, I think it's called the Telepod, in a Pelican 1500 case. But it also comes with this nice bag, drawstring bag. So what I do is I put this 60 millimeter in the bag that it came with. Nice drawstring and that protects it. And then I'll put that in the uh, Pelican 1500 case. And as you can see, I've got my little moose a 2.3 pound chihuahua she actually is showing you just how small this little refractor is and she loves it don't you moose tell everybody how much you like this 60 millimeter she ain't saying much today she rarely does so with the upcoming total solar eclipse that we have next year April 8th 2024 which actually goes right over my house Although I'll probably try to go a little closer towards the center line, gain a little bit more, or I may have to travel depending on what the uh, weather's going to do. But I thought with that coming, if there's anybody that's uh, traveling, maybe you're going to be flying by plane, you want to do kind of like what I did, you want something that works, let me tell you, this is a beautiful little scope. The images that I got, as far as visually, because I didn't take any pictures, were spectacular just just beautiful did a great job this is a nice little scope grab and go uh, so this is something that if you're considering something like this I highly recommend this Teleview 60